they're so cute. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Haley. If you're new here, I post a lot of DIY style tips and the occasional Photoshop graphic type tutorial. Today, we're gonna be learning how to make these exact earrings here. They're made of polymer clay, which you bake in the oven. Polymer clay earrings are really popular right now. I really wanted to hop on the trend, but I wanted to do something original. I didn't wanna do like the typical rainbow that you see which those are cute but i just wanted to see if i could play around and come up with something cool and i ended up making these and i was obsessed let's just jump right in we're gonna hop into a tutorial and i'm gonna show you all how to do it so first you are gonna start by planning out the colors that you want to use i have already mixed the colors that i want to use now the nice thing about polymer clay is that i can leave this out for as long as i want and it's not gonna harden the only possible thing that could happen to it is it could collect dust particles or just anything that's in the air. That is the only reason that you would want to keep it in a Ziploc bag or maybe roll it up in a piece of wax paper. So now I'm going to show you how to actually construct the squares that we're going to be using for the earring. So I do this one color at a time. If you don't have a fancy roller, which I don't, you can use the end of a paintbrush, the end of a marker. So I just hold it down for a second so that I can start rolling and it will kind of stick to the wax paper so that I can continue rolling without holding it down. Oh, and I'm just gonna roll it out, maybe turning it as I roll to make sure that I roll it out as evenly as possible. So once it gets about to the thickness that I would like for it to be, I'm gonna take a razor or a knife and I'm just gonna cut it into a rectangle. So now I'm gonna cut this into two squares since I'm making two earrings. And these squares don't have to be perfect. There you go. So now I have two little squares for my earring. So I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna repeat this with every color. So as you can see here, now I have all of my rectangles. This is so satisfying. I'm gonna assemble them into some sort of geometric shape. So I'll take one of each color place them together. I think I'm going to put yellow at the top for this one and yellow is my biggest piece. For this I'm just going to cut out a corner of the yellow and I'm actually going to place one of these corners into that corner and you can use the edge of this razor to kind of ensure that your pieces stay square. Next I'm going to throw my purple on there. I think I'm going to go with the green right here. And now the pink. Sometimes you may get your pieces together and they may not be geometrically exactly how you would want them. This is not doing it for me. So I may just go in here and shave off small pieces of whatever color I feel like is sticking out to me too much. So I like this shape. So next I'm gonna move on to my next earring and I like for them to be different. So I'm not gonna do the same sequence. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my hand underneath here to be able to get this up and off in one piece. Sometimes you may need to take your razor to kind of separate the clay from the wax paper. Try to be delicate. Try to keep it in one piece if you can. See, this one's kind of coming apart, so I may need to kind of ensure that it's sticking together a little bit better. Flip it over. So the point of this step is just to make sure that whenever you bake these, that they are actually gonna stick together. You can kind of score this with your razor. So run your razor along the edge like this, which works really well. So you may have to go back and straighten up your edges with your razor. So once you finish this on the back, you're gonna wanna take something pointy. Now, if you don't have this little tool, obviously you can use like a toothpick or anything small enough to go in this hole and make a hole. I'm just lightly pressing down and then I will flip it over to the front. So now I have it flipped back over. You can see where these holes started coming through and I'm just gonna finish these holes off from the front. And then I'm gonna go back in with my razor and straighten this edge up where I have just messed with it. Now is a good time to go ahead and turn on my oven. I am gonna bake these at 250 for about 20 minutes. Our next step is to put our design on them. For this design, I'm gonna be making a face on each of these pieces. So I'm gonna need this to be a long, thin strip, which I can construct the facial features from. What I like to do is just mess around with it to get it warm, and then I roll it into a ball, and then I will just start rolling it out into a thin strip. And sometimes I will go ahead and cut it in half just to be able to work with it in smaller pieces. I think these two I will use for the eyes. These two I will use for the eyebrows and the nose. I'm kind of obsessed with this like facial feature art right now. 
This is my nose, which extends into my eyebrow. Roll out my eye, give it a little curve, place it on. Now I need to do the little nose pieces, so I'm just gonna take two tiny little bits and roll them into a ball. Next is the mouth. This is kind of difficult because these pieces are so tiny and delicate. Put my mouth on there. Okay, so there's one face. Roll out my other nose, my other eye, my little nose pieces. Now my mouth. Okay, now they are ready to go in the oven. So what I actually like to do to avoid the risk of messing up my pieces any further, I like to take my baking pan and just cut out this small area so that then I can leave this directly on this baking sheet. That way I didn't have to handle them anymore before I stick them in the oven. The last thing before they go in the oven, I like to make this little tent. I learned this from someone else on YouTube actually, to just place this on top so that the air flows underneath and the heat is not directly hitting the clay pieces and burning them. So now I'm just going to stick my pieces in for about 20 minutes and then I'll check on them. It's time to take them out and see how they are doing. So I will usually just touch it. If I can see my fingerprint, then I'll throw it back in there for about three or four more minutes. You can see my fingerprint on this green one. All right, so now I'm gonna take them out. I'm just gonna let them sit and cool off 30 minutes to an hour. Hello. So the next thing to do is put these little silver earring holder things on them. You can get these on Amazon, like a hundred of them for like $5 or something crazy like that. If you have sensitive ears, you can find sterling silver ones. They are a little bit more expensive, I think. I just use these little fingernail plier things to put them on. You slip them through the back and I just tighten it in a circle. With these earrings, you do have the option to spray them or coat them with the polyurethane spray or clear coat finish. I'm not going to do that with these particular earrings because I really like this matte look for these colors. These are the earrings and I'm really happy with how they turned out. They're so cute. So I also made these the other night. I'm kind of obsessed with this little face design and these colors right now. I made these. You can really get creative with this. I can do more tutorials in the future on how to get this this effect you know more things that you can do with clay I added glitter to these thank y'all so much for watching I hope you had fun I hope that you actually recreate these and make these if you do tag me on Instagram comment and let me know I would love to see you guys creating something from my tutorials and you know with this project as with any creative project I feel like I say this all the time but you have creative flexibility you don't have to stick to this regimen come up with any design that you can think of and you can make it the world is yours thanks so much for watching see y'all next week Oh, 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 oh,